the new bright heavy metal ford bronco raptor 110 scale radio controlled ages six plus batteries included four-wheel drive smart charging usb 2.4 gigahertz flex suspension forward reverse left right let's go ahead and unbox this some batteries back here. straps to cut. Looks like our remote control. more straps in there to cut. And a couple more up top. I think that should do it. Oh, not yet. Let's see what else we got left here. Got a USB cord in here. anyway. Let's see how we get this up. Looks like we got a couple little screwy screw things in here. They sure don't make this easy. I'm just going to kind of rip it right out of there. Without busting the USB cord, hopefully. There we go. There we go. And these should pop right out. Yep, there you go. All right. Looks like the USB cord is just kind of hanging out there. Let's see if I can open this up. Yeah, it looks like uh, once it's charged, you can probably tuck it all back right in there and close it up. Here's your on and off button. Okay, we're going to charge this baby up and uh, see what it does. Before I charge it, I'm going to go ahead and put the 
remote control batteries in. It's got a little screw there to loosen up. Take that cover off. A couple batteries to go in here that came with it. Looks good. Pop it right back in place. Tighten her down. And now we are going to charge the car itself and take her for a spin. A couple quick things to note. I was able to get the USB cord wound around and tucked in underneath this cover here and put the cover back on nice and neat. And also it has a trim adjustment. So basically if you're driving straight and the wheels seem to be turned a little bit, you can try adjusting that trim to that trim knob there to get the wheels straight when it's driving straight. That's what that's for. Again, there's the on and off button. And uh, I plugged this into a fast charger. It has, uh, it has USB technology. Uh, which will adapt to any charger that you plug it into. So I used a fast charger and this thing only took like about 10 minutes to charge from out of the box. It may have already had a little charge in it, so I don't know what a full charge, how much time that will take. But yeah, about 10 minutes and it was charged. So we're gonna go ahead and test this out. So far, so good. It kicked right on. Works to be nice and fast. Alright, we're going to take this baby outside and uh, run it in the yard and see what it does. Alright, i got a young man out here today. He's going to demonstrate the Ford Bronco RC. Go ahead. Turn it around, bring it back. Seems to work pretty well. Going over the snow, ice, rocks, grass. All right, there you go. One more demonstration. We're gonna see if it will go up this snow hill here. <laughs> nope. Get a running start. There you go. Almost. But no cigar. <laughs> a little bit too slippery, huh? Start from back here once. And get a running start. Go, go, go. <laughs> All right, won't make it up that slippery slope. But overall, it looks to be fun enough. Try going over this hill right here. <laughs> yeah, I made it. Oh, there we go. Wipe out. The remote control takes a couple AA batteries. The truck itself has a built-in attached USB cable that it can be charged from. And charging didn't take too long, maybe 15-20 minutes, and I didn't time it, but it seems like we got at least a good half hour use out of it before the battery started getting dead. Okay, overall, this uh, Ford Bronco, this RC Ford Bronco, seems to work pretty well. The kids have already had lots of fun with it. So have I. And, uh, yeah, works great. It has a little struggle going up hills, 
that uh, are made of snow or um, soft sand, stuff like that. I think that's mainly just because it doesn't have a lot of weight and the wheels can't really dig in. But other than that, for driving around the yard and some uh, small mounds or hills, going over stuff like that, it, it works really well. Um, for the price, yeah, I would say I recommend this 100%. Thank you, and I hope you subscribe to my channel for future reviews.